Hello and welcome to today's Bitcoin price prediction video. And yes, Bitcoin got an insane breakout out of our descending channel towards the upside and we hit our price target at 42,000 US dollars very, very accurately. But in this video, it's going to be more of a different one because I would like to share with you our Elliott Wave count, why potentially we could still be expecting another all-time high in the next couple of months on the Bitcoin price. But first of all, let's go on the one hour time frame. Let's see why we even got this specific pump on the first place. Yesterday, we were mentioning that Bitcoin simply got a successful swing failure pattern or a liquidity grab because a lot of people simply got extremely bearish exactly at the bottom at 40,200 US dollars. And because of that, if a lot of people are bearish, in my opinion, it is going to be bullish indication, potentially looking to go with another buy position, literally almost at the exact low of the move. But then, of course, we need to ask ourselves, was this pull towards the upside weak or did we actually got volume increase? Now, looking on the 30 minute time frame, I think you are going to agree with me on this one. Approximately 123 million of volume kicked in. Literally, on this specific pull towards the upside on the Bitcoin price, definitely we got very nice breakout, volume supported breakout, bullish indication, and we are simply looking towards our price target, which was our daily at 42,000 US dollars on the Bitcoin price. Of course, I'm going to show you exactly what is our next price target, what could be our potential next buy, or maybe even short or sell position on the Bitcoin price. But first of all, let's go on the weekly time frame because I simply would like to share with you why I would potentially be expecting another all-time high in the next couple of months. We are going to be looking at our price action that Bitcoin has been forming for the past couple of years right here. And we are simply going to identify our first impulsive pull towards the upside on Bitcoin that actually topped out at approximately 13,500 US dollars. We got a very steep correction towards the downside. We got another significant pull towards the upside towards 63,000 US dollars. And at the moment, in my opinion, we can still say that Bitcoin is trading in the fourth elite wave, or we are at the moment still in the corrective stage. And usually our fourth elite wave simply takes a long time to complete. And we can see exactly that because what we can say here is that Bitcoin is still trading and forming our ABC correction. Of course, the question is right now, where is the price target of our C wave? Because the price target of our C wave could potentially be below our previous low, maybe even approximately at 25,000 US dollars. But all I would say right now is that looking at our bigger time frame price action, I would still say, even for example, if Bitcoin is actually going to go towards 25,000, or maybe if we are already going to see an impulsive pull towards the upside, another all-time high, in my opinion, does have a higher probability to be put in, maybe even in the next couple of years. But of course, what we would like to see on a lower term time frame, if we would then like to say, okay, Bitcoin can actually continue its way towards the upside, we would simply like to see volume increase on the daily, maybe even on the weekly time frame, because you're literally going to see the entire time we are forming this ABC correction, volume is dying off. And this is not an indication that our fifth elite wave already started, because if we would like to start our fifth elite wave, simply, in my opinion, we need to see volume increase in the next couple of months. If there is going to be no volume increase and Bitcoin simply is going to see another lag towards the upset, for example, in my opinion, this is going to have pretty high probability of seeing another lag towards the downside, maybe even towards 25,000 US dollars. But nevertheless, overall, I'm still bullish on Bitcoin. I'm still expecting another all time high, maybe even in the next couple of months. Pretty much everything depends how or if Bitcoin is going to start moving towards the upside with volume or without the volume. But going right now more on a local term time frame, if we go right now on the two hourly, I would simply like to share with you where is going to be our next target if we are actually going to continue our way towards the upside. Going with our Fibonacci extension from low towards our high here, back to our low, one to one Fibonacci extension for Bitcoin is going to be at 42,800 US dollars. But before I show you why this specific target is such an important level, I would just like to say, if you don't want to trade by yourself, but you would like to take an advantage of huge Bitcoin moves and volatility, I'll now show you the place where you can copy trades of successful traders with a proven track record. And yes, 
This video is sponsored by Copy Trading Feature, co-vesting available exclusively on Prime XBT. But going over to the co-vesting tab, here you can see the results of different traders and some of them are making a pretty nice return. So you're most probably wondering, how can we copy their trades? First, we need to quickly, in only 10 seconds, make an account on Prime XBT. To start copy trading, we need to have some crypto in our wallet. There is also an option to buy crypto directly on Prime XBT with a few clicks. Now going back to the copy trading page, there are a lot of different strategies to choose from. Consistent and sustainable strategy shows a performance chart with a nice uptrend with no sharp dips. The longer a strategy is active, the more established it is, and on top of that, the higher the star rating, the better of course. Sign up using the link below and use the promo code BITCOINHYPER1 to get up to 7,000 US dollars on your first deposit for free. Okay, so we have this one-to-one -one Fibonacci extension level, which in terms of Fibonacci levels, of course, it is a very important and key level. And on top of that, we can even say our previous high on Bitcoin is going to be exactly at the specific area, going with our weekly Fibonacci pivot points literally almost exactly right here is also going to be our r2 weekly fibonacci pivot point and because of that if bitcoin which in my opinion does have right now still higher probability of doing continues its way towards the upside my next target is going to be roughly 42,600 or let's just say 42,800 of course depends how big of a wick potentially could be formed on bitcoin if we continue even higher in the next couple of days right here the most important thing i would like to see if i would if, if i'm going to be shorting bitcoin if we continue up is going to be candle close below our previous high because then if we do see candle close below our previous high liquidity grab people getting stopped out and of course we could potentially be looking for maybe even entering another short or a sell position on the bitcoin price now what if bitcoin does see even lower targets and we actually do see a rejection from the level where we are because of course we simply need to acknowledge bitcoin at the moment is trading at the daily high term time frame level what if we do see a rejection towards downside in my opinion the most important level we need to pay attention to here is going to be our diagonal level of support that of course we were already paying attention to yesterday the truth about this diagonal level support is that simply we have been very nicely respecting it and we have very nicely been putting in higher highs and higher lows. The moment we see a breakout towards our diagonal level support towards the downside with a volume increase, bearish indication, and we are looking for lower targets on the Bitcoin price. But the thing is right now, looking at this specific diagonal level of support, you can also actually see we have brand new daily high term time frame at 41,000 US dollars. So what we can do also here, Fibonacci retracement, we go from swing low, we go to swing high. I think you are going to agree with me. It looks like golden pocket is aligning perfectly with our horizontal level of support at 41,000. But the thing is right here, yes i would still potentially be interested firing another buy or a long position at this specific area but if we are then going to see break of our diagonal level when we are going to be trading at the gold fibonacci ratio my first take profit area in my opinion should be very very early because as once again as we said before lose a diagonal level of support towards the downside it is actually going to be bearish indication but nevertheless because it's a high term time frame level because it's golden pocket i would still potentially be interested firing a buy here especially Especially if people are going to get liquidated, especially if a lot of people are going to get extremely bearish at the level of support before. I show you another bullish indication on our simple moving averages. If you haven't already, please smash up the like button right now because the goal for this video would actually be to reach at least 500 likes and thank you very much if you right now actually smashed the like button. Let me show you what is going to be our bullish indication on the 4 hour time frame why I am personally still expecting higher price targets in the next couple of days. Of course, unless our diagonal support level here is actually going to see a break towards the downside. Looking at the 4 hour time frame, I think you are going to agree with me. We are definitely right now seeing the cross of the blue simple moving average crossing our green one. This is simply going to mean Bitcoin is right now trading in an average uptrend also on the four hour time frame. On the two hour, on the one hour time frame, we are already trading in the average uptrend, but nevertheless, a couple of hours ago, 
we actually got a confirmation of an uptrend on the four hourly. So this right here, in my opinion, another bullish indication. And as we said before, because Bitcoin is right now still respecting our diagonal level support, because we are still forming higher highs and higher lows. Of course, once again, we simply need to trade with a trend, potentially expecting maybe even for this previous high to be taken out in the next couple of days. Of course, most probably I would not expect another pull up uh, today or maybe tomorrow, because of course we are in the middle of the weekend, but nevertheless, definitely this this right here is going to be our next level for us to pay attention to 42,600 if Bitcoin is actually going to continue its way towards the upside. Now, we do have some concerning signs on different indicators such as our MACD and also our cluster stochastic, uh, I mean uh, our cluster algorithm right here. Let's go on the 4 hour time frame where you are going to see there is bearish divergence forming on our MACD. Lower high right here, lower high on our cluster. Bearish divergence on our cluster algorithm is still not confirmed. And of course, we would like to see curvature towards downside, lower high on cluster confirmed with the higher high on the Bitcoin price, which is actually going to be this bearish divergence right here. On MACD indicator, bearish divergence is already confirmed. But I would say like that, yes, there are bearish divergences right now potentially forming on Bitcoin, but we simply need to acknowledge how we pull towards the upside. And also, do we really see any major sign of weaknesses, which in my opinion, and there are simply no major sign of weaknesses. And because of that, one could even say that Bitcoin on a lower term time frame, let's say on the 15 minute time frame, is simply range bounded. We are range bounded between our daily high term time frame level at 42,000, and we can simply identify horizontal level of support uh, this specific area, which once again, because we are in the middle of the weekend, because we have less volume in the market, one could simply say trade the range until it actually breaks. Yes, once again, I would potentially be expecting another leg towards the upside. Nevertheless, if we do see breaking the range towards the downside with volume increase, and then of course also diagonal break towards the downside with volume increase, bearish indication, and only then I would flip a little more bearish on Bitcoin. But at the moment, at least in my opinion, we are still looking kind of bullish right here on a lower term time frame, and of course, let's Let's see if our previous high right here is actually going to see a break towards the upside in the next couple of days right here on the Bitcoin price. If you haven't already right now, please smash up the like button because the goal for this video would actually be to reach at least 500 likes. Subscribe to the channel because I'm doing daily Bitcoin price predictions and technical analysis videos every single day. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace out.